Hey everyone, as always, thanks for coming to check out today's video. Today's video, I'm going to be breaking some glass and I'm going to be testing uh, some security film that you put on the glass that is supposed to. Uh, it's not supposed to stop the glass from breaking, but it's supposed to hold the glass together so somebody can't either crawl through it or reach through it so they can get to possibly your door lock or uh, your windows and try to open up your windows. The reason that I wanted to take a look at this product is, uh, is for basically, here, I'll show you a clip real quick. All right, so what you just saw in that clip obviously is three armed men. They are breaking into a home. And what you see is, you see the, the front door of this home. You can see that it has a window in the door. You can see that the men take a brick and throw the brick through the window. And then they simply reach around and unlock the door and they come in the home. Uh, this is one of the things that terrified me while I, um, during the years that I had to do a lot of traveling for my job is, you know, I'd be gone and um, something like this happened while my family was in the home. This is the film itself. Uh, this is just a small piece that I cut out. I'm sure it's kind of hard to see with the light on it, but this is the box that it came in. And the way that I found this film was I just went to Amazon and I looked up uh, window security film. It comes in different sizes and thicknesses. The size that I got was 24 inches by 12 feet and I got it in eight millimeters thick. I saw it in four millimeters and I thought I saw it in 12 millimeters. So I just kind of went with the middle. I'm sure there's other sizes, but again, this was just a quick search on Amazon for window security film. Now I'll show you me breaking some glass in a French door without the film on it. And then I'll show you, I'll show you me breaking the glass with the film on it and the difference that it makes. now with the film on it. All right. All right, so you just saw me break the glass without the film. The glass breaks and it leaves a hole in the glass. And um, then you see me break it with the film. And what you see is the whole entire glass now come out of the panel of the French door. And obviously, you know, what I thought when I very first did this was, well, this was worthless. It just made it easier for somebody to reach around and go through you know, whether or not they're trying to unlock the deadbolt or whatnot. But I got to thinking about it. And if you, um, if you take a look at this panel, and this is the panel that came out. Uh, and if you take a look at it, well, there's a couple things about it that I had to realize after I did it. First off, there's no hole in it. The glass without the film that I broke, there's a hole in it. This, uh, even though the glass is broken, it's all together, and if it had stayed in the panel, you wouldn't have been able to reach through it. I think really what happened was the edges of the French, uh, the edges of the panel and the French door, I think that became the weak spot for the door. So I don't think that this was a good, this was a good way to test this film out. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this film on a, a bigger panel. I'm going to put it on a double pane uh, tempered glass and I'm going to uh, I'm going to put that on what would be the exterior panel of the glass and I'm going to shatter that and see if uh, the whole thing gives out like the French door did or if it keeps it all together. Um, but again, just to, if, if the film did what it was supposed to, it held the glass together, it kept uh, it prevented a hole. I just, I really think the edges of the panel is what gave up. 
So I'll go ahead and test the other one now. So on the bigger panel, you can see that the glass didn't give away. It didn't all come out at once. And what you just saw was uh, me hit the panel with the bat, but the film stayed in place. And even though most of the glass is now missing, um, you can see that there was only a small hole for me to stick my hand through. So it didn't work as well as I hoped it would work. Um, I was hoping that it would, it would have held more of the glass together. If you ask me if I would recommend this product or if I would um, tell my friends and family to, to use this product, I would tell you that even though it didn't work as well as I, I was hoping, that I would still recommend it. And the reason why is that security is best done in layers. So what I mean by that is the more things that you have in between, you know, you and a potential uh, bad guy, uh, the better. You you want to do stuff that slows them down if it doesn't stop them. So I do think this is a good product to slow someone down, especially if you know they're trying to break your glass just to to reach around and unlock your your door or open up your window. It's something else that they have to deal with. So I do think it's a good product for that. Yeah, again, it didn't work as well as I hoped. I still think uh, with, it gives you more time. And that could be time that you either use to call the police or the sheriff or whatever your local law enforcement is, or that could be time that you are going uh, to go get a firearm. There are some other things that we can do from here. Um, there are some other products that I'm going to test in my next video or one of my next videos, and those are glass break sensors. There's two different types of glass break sensors, and I'll get into that in the next video, but I think that with the film on there, plus the glass break sensors, you've got two things going on. You've got a method to slow people down, and you've also got a method to alert you and possibly scare off uh, a, uh, an intruder. So if you want to see that, um, make sure you subscribe so you get the notification that the video is done. And uh, yeah, I hope you got some use out of this video. Uh, please, if you have some thoughts about the window film, the this film please leave the comments down below I'd love to hear them and um, yeah as always thanks for watching and uh, yeah just thanks